Yeah, his world's a good song. Yeah, it's a great song. Probably the best. After doing the Sonic Force streams, I've warmed up to a With Me. Yeah, I was looking at like deals for Sonic Forces, but there aren't any deals for Sonic Forces. Wait, so that sale ended, I'm assuming, from Sega? Because yeah. I think it was on sale then. But I think Forces yeah. is like one of the ones that they had that goes on sale the most. Yeah. But when it's on sale, it goes on sale for like cheap. Why on earth is its base price 40 bucks, though? Who in their right mind is gonna purchase that? Bad deal. They even say the same thing for superstars. Even <laughs> ten... Well, yeah. And ten, Honestly. like, ten dollars for four. Ten dollars for Sonic 4 like... is not ten dollars. It's, uh... It is. I mean, it's not worth ten dollars. It is not worth ten dollars. Heck, I don't think it was even worth two fifty. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And I know I would. Sp I spent two fifty on it. It was not worth two fifty. Mm, no, it's like worth a dollar. I, mean, I don't know. It's not worth like anything. Yeah. It's just not good. Yeah, it's just terrible. It's a bad I'd game. I'd say it's worth forty cents. Mm. Even that's pushing it. Hi, welcome back to the. Penny. <laughs> welcome back to the Sonic Podcast. <laughs> yes, the Sonic Podcast. I didn't even know we were on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I switched. What I guess we talking. are. Oh, I don't mind talking. Um, yeah, welcome back to Sonic Four Episode Two, everybody, where we're suffering. Uh, oh wait. <laughs> also, oh, wait, this. we're doing this. They appeared. Oh. Ooh. Oh, wait, I s wait a second. What's that last case? What's that last case? Requester, uh, I'll find you late in difficulty a million stars. Why did it just go back? Wait, it goes from four to two. Time. Whatever. I'm fine with a quick case to close out the second half of the stream. Yeah, that's fine. Because these are going to take five stars, though. Oof. The mystery rooms. Honestly, that last. I'm but surprised I'm with how short that last case was. That was yeah, that was like. These other ones are harder. Yeah, exactly. The or first just... case took forever. <laughs> yeah, it's like a million. Like he killed himself, and then he killed himself again. It's like whoa. Amazing. He faked his twist. death in order to kill himself. Okay. Anyways. Anyways, with me is a good song. <laughs> yes. I am. Um, what's it? I like. What's the one from Colors? Uh, I don't know. The one from the ending. Finally, I do not we know. can relate. Something, 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 <laughs> fade. Something. Something, something, communicate. Something, something. Man, what's it called? Speak with your heart. That's what it is. Oh. That one, I think, is kind of underrated. I'm personally a big fan of his world. I like his world and the zebra and head his version. World. Something, something, something. Da 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 da. I mostly listen to the zebra head version when I hear it. <clears throat> ah. Anyways, shall he's we kicking stop? ass fast. <laughs> it's such a good line. It's <laughs> so goofy, something. Oh, there's rap lyrics? Yeah, he's like, he's kicking ass fast and putting on a show. It's like, he kicks ass fast. It's so funny. The only Zebrahead song I've heard is the one they did with Man with a Mission, which was so good. Yeah, I don't know anything about them. Oh. Oh, heck! I'm so late! Don't worry, Lucy. This one won't take long. Theoretically. Theoretically. Yep. Sounds like there's someone into office! Yeah, next thing we know it's gonna take till 7. But now you don't understand what's wrong with me. You know, I still feel the same way about... That's the prof! What are what's he talking about? Hey, I had a good read on that. Ah! Woman jump scare. 
<laughs> White <laughs> woman jump <laughs> scare. Is this a Five Nights at Freddy's reference? What's her name? Vanessa? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Vanessa. A, we're just gonna Vanessa call this Layton. woman Vanessa now. Good Vanessa gracious. Layton. Listening at the keyhole, how very rude. I... I weren't listening, I were just... Goodness, is that the time already? If you'll excuse me, some of us have better things to do than sit around snooping on others. Okay. Hey! No, hang on! Da -da 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 what a cheek! I weren't listening in, I can't help overhearing, that's all. A good detective has to strain her ears a little every now and then, doesn't she? Morning! Hey, Pruff, I just bumped into a lass out in the corridor. Is she a... Sorry, Lucy, then I'll have to wait. We have a new lead on Etista. Wait, what we a sec. We never have. Wait, so now they're bringing previous cases? Yes, there's a good chance it may even allow us to apprehend her. That Etista lasts at last, eh? Yes. Finally. <laughs> uh, just just so I've got it, my got it straight in my head. Um, who is she again? Oh, Lucy, come on, wake up. She was a suspect in that particularly gruesome murder case we solved. You must remember. I I nearly there. It's on the tip of my tongue. It must be. The mastermind in the walking corpse case. Oh. So they oh. are bringing people back. Is Bing gonna come right. back? Yes, Bing, Bing has a chance. Bing cameo. We need Bing cameo right now. The last set we're pulling the strings of that Coretta fellow, the one who stole the, that creepy idol, eh? Precisely, Mariana Atista. In fact, it's that very stone idol that's led us there. It's being auctioned off on the black market. What the heck? So where is she then? Where's she been hiding out? In an old abandoned stately home in the Lake District. Give over! What? Here in England? <laughs> yes, local police have managed to corner her in the building cellars. However, there are a number of traps and tricks down there that have stopped our love from finding her. She just put a whole dungeon in the basement with <laughs> it's just like the avgn movie when they walk into that dude's house and there's like a platforming section for some reason exactly just I like mean, that for the love of pong <clears throat> it's so simple i remember barely anything about that movie but that that one line <laughs> that movie it's just like the also, avgn movie starring also, what's his face james rolf but during the Super Bowl, they showed a shot of Las Vegas with the mock Eiffel Tower, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's an AVGN reference in real life! <laughs> yeah. I... If, if you watch the movie, you will understand. Only true AVGN movie fans will get that joke. Exactly. Which is funny, because I've like not even watched a single one of his other videos. <laughs> I have. I mean, I saw... Sounds... Board game ones, but I haven't actually watched any of his like main game content. I only watched like the board game stuff. I think my favorite one is the the Polybius one he did. Yeah, that was real funny. Yes. My favorite one was the movie where he had intercourse with a lady, but not really. They were just playing. What's it? They were just <sighs> playing. That Olympics game on the NES that requires a trackpad, but I, I think it's just called like track or something. And there, and there was a sidekick <laughs> named Cooper. Oh yeah, and he I don't know why got he written there. out of the AVGN canon after this, I think. Yes. I mean, I like that they kind of acknowledge the AVGN copycat channels as just his own character. And then there's the weird ableist I... dude, whose only joke was haha. He needs some mobility assistance. Uh, I don't even remember that character. <laughs> He's a guy who instead of a wheelchair just had like tank and all the jokes about tank. him were that everyone hated him for needing to accommodate his 
I don't think they ever explain why he's in a tank actually, but you know, whatever. It's all just reskinned haha <laughs> wheelchair jokes. He got, he got his legs blown off in the war, don't you know? Then he got both his arms blown off in the war other war. Yeah, then he lost both his arms. Yeah, in the movie. So then he just becomes Among Us. <laughs> Among Us transformation complete. Let's go! No arms. Well, actually, no, the, the, they have legs, too, so... <laughs> hey! <laughs> Traps and tricks? I'm afraid I don't know the details, but since rather there's a secret room down there somewhere. Hey! How exciting! This is proper Famous Five stuff, this! Who? Famous... My first Ask? thought was Ocean's Eleven, but... <laughs> Ocean's Lucy, Eleven... Asked? So we better be making tracks. Yeah? I set up a sound what? studio, Lucy. We're going down I've there? I've become a SoundCloud rapper, Lucy. <laughs> Listen to my hit beat. I killed my brother and now he's inhabiting my body. Gone wrong? Gone. No, I can't say that, actually. I think I know what you're gonna say. Oh, what was I gonna say? To investigate the actual scene, you mean? <laughs> that's, that's what I was gonna say. To investigate the actual scene, you mean? I dearly love to put stay put here and work up with the reconstruction machine, but Tilda asked me as a personal favor. I couldn't. Oh, are we gonna actually like go somewhere else for once? <gasps> Who's Hilda? We're stepping out of the office. This is not a gamer move. <laughs> No, it's good. Sick of this place. We're gonna go outside and touch grass, finally. Oh, Fendi gets to breathe That's... air for the yeah. first time in his life. Breathe air? Who is Hilda? Hilda Brand, Final Fantasy. She uh. was just here. Didn't you say you ran into her in the corridor? Oh, her. Hi, we had a run in, alright. Anyway, look. Time is of the essence. We need to get up there as quickly as we can. And more importantly, get back as quickly as we can. E! Pre the pro stepping out of the office. I never thought I'd see the day! He's touching grass! <laughs> Let's go! He's breathing some real proper oxygen! That Hilda last must be somewhat special, alright? Woo! Yeah, yeah, get to go outside. And that's how it happened. The prof and I out in the wild. This is cute. We took the train, and after endless changes, we finally arrived. Oh, there's the Twitch thing. We're an old, dilapidated mansion, all on its Todd something. Who cares? There's cute art. That was good art, I liked it. I wish we could just look at it more. <laughs> yeah, why do we have to get... But the, yeah, at uh... least maybe I can finish reading the text. Yeah, the little Twitch like, icon for the uh, game has that house in it, and I was wondering where that came from. Oh, that's cool. So, now I know. I think the Met might have laid on some transports to take, we could take the train. Hey, that's a hard life sometimes, this policing lark, eh? Oh. Already? It's sending you to this dust-strewn dank hole of all places. Alfendi going psycho any percent speedrun? Ah, oh, Potty prof! Where does this spring from? Oops. Sorry, Lucy, I think I allowed myself to get a little too emotional, perhaps. <laughs> This is... See, yeah. now I got these scars. He's not allowed to show any emotion. Oh, well, I got these scars, Lucy. <clears throat> show no emotion me. for 20 years. Me, it's very quiet, isn't it? Where are all the other officers? No doubt Hilda's arranged for them all to keep out of our way. She informed me that she'd let the scene... She'd let the scene exactly as she found it. We're gonna investigate as if we were the first ones here. Oh, I? 
She's testing us, is she? You know, my first ever real life crime scene. Well, now it's gonna spoil this opportunity for me. Not Hilda, nor your Jekyll in hiding. Of course, it's the first time you've worked on the ground set with the reconstruction machine. Aye, that it is. Oh well, in that case, you'd better man the whole thing yourself. <laughs> he just leaves. <laughs> Hold your horses, Prof. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. What am I? What about all my instructions? How am I supposed to know what to do? Lucy, you've been in charge of basically answering every single question this entire time. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She's basically been doing it herself outside of Alfendi who actually been doing sometimes. the entire job, and Alfendi's just been sat sitting there just saying, No, I don't He's think been so. He's smug cat the entire game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My dear, it's like the cat who's smug and like there's a knife pointed at it. That's Alfendi. Yeah. All the time. My dear Lucy, Everything. it's really quite simple. You really need to locate the secret room where Atis is hiding. Goodbye. It's no particular and order in which you need. <laughs> you need to do it in five minutes or everything explodes. There's no particular <laughs> order in which you need to tackle things, just snoop around. In other words, you're dropping me in it, eh? Not very much. You're welcome. Now start investigating. <laughs> This guy. Oh, well, hey, you know, I'm glad there's a format break after yeah. so much we've done. Two Remember. Tavern Slide. What do you mean? We, we've been doing this the whole time. Interesting. I'm yeah, assuming that just means there's a lot room. more to this room. Oh, boy, this is big. A little cramped. So we just need to find the hidden room? I mean, it'd be highlighted. Wouldn't it? Easy. I got to use my phone for this. Yeah. What about here? Imagine we just got it straight away. Clock. There's a cat! You know, seeing this perspective really makes me think of those first person dungeon crawlers from like the 80s. True. It's an SMT game. <laughs> Unusual design. Which is. Cat, cat race car apple tea. So this is so. Means apple. Cat means three. T means five. And car means eight. Write that down. Yeah, that might be important for later. I don't know. Maybe we should open a notepad document for that specifically. All right. Let me get notes on my phone. Okay, if you do that, that's fine. I don't. So I can keep. I looking. don't know if it's going to. Oh, okay. Oh, what? So do you cat... want to look at it still? I think I got it. Cat is three. Um, T is five. Ass spell. A car is eight. And apple is twelve. Applebee's. <laughs> Love okay. Whatever. Bathroom door. No sign of the keyhole. The door's locked. What the? <laughs> but there's no keyhole, look! How oh, true. Very interesting. Do you think we've found Atista? No, I don't get the impression there's anyone behind that door. Atista must be somewhere else. You don't get the impression? You're not supposed to be in this case, dude. There must be a special way to open it, though. You mean, like, from the other side? I suppose we better find it, then. I mean, it could be. There's a piece of paper on the door. I'm surprised we didn't mention that. Yeah, I didn't zoom in. Oh, we just start all the way from What about the here. fireplace? Yeah, I will get there. Slip <laughs> of paper that reads WC from 3 o'clock. White cat? Water what closet? Water what, closet so from 3 o'clock. That's what's behind the door. Why can't people just... Why can't folk just call it a toilet, eh? Call a spade a spade, I say. Water okay. closet from 3 o'clock. 
What's that mean? I don't know. But that is a cat. I think it says white cat, because that cat's white. It could be a white cat from 3 o'clock, but what does that even mean either? I don't know. I guess we're going to find that out. Oh, oh boy. God. Well, this is a fun. <laughs> Bovine comes before swine. That could be saying good to write down. There, wait, those books, they match up with the, uh, with the clock. Teetotal identity. Oh, yeah, they do. Okay. Guy, so many different breeds of cats. Okay. Maybe we have to pull the books in order of, like, clockwise direction. Hmm. They're clo- they're chock-a-bock. Chock-a- chock bleh. They're chock-a-bock, <laughs> hey, these shelves. But there are four books jotting out. Look. Indeed. Verily begging us to push them back in, in fact. Yes, this is quite some very delicate... Did you hear that funny noise? No, it's happened, mind. Maybe not, but did more by luck than judgment. Did you even consider money had been a trap, Lucy? Oops. Uh, sorry, Prof. I didn't think of that. This is Atista's hideout. You should assume anything and everything could be a trap. I will do from now on, Prof. Alright, well, at least nothing happened. So I can push the other span then, eh? A one, a two, a three! Uh -huh. Well, that's odd. They've all pack popped back up again. Out again. Lucy, I know you're fearless, but I didn't think you were such a daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh. Wow. That went so mean to her. Anyways, pushing all the books in doesn't appear to be the answer to this puzzle. Perhaps then the order in which one pushes the books is the key. I thought of that already. E, the order. Search the room and see if you can't find a clue to the correct sequence. Um, you can choose any for- okay. I already got it. Alright. Oh, wait. We have to do it in order. Um... I think you can tap. Yeah, I can tap. Okay, so which one was the first? There's like cats, right? Cat, T, car. Cat. Yeah, cat, T, car. Uh, depending on which order they're going for, it says bovine before swine. But there is no. Which does not make any sense, but. I'll just inspect this room There's first. A note here. Hornless is the beast that. This seems like that's not. Relevant. Hornless is the beast that leads the way. Unless it's the cat is first. A clockwork music box. Fortunately, the winder is missing. Without a winder, there's no way to hear the music. Eee, that makes me want to hear it all the more, Prof. I wonder if there isn't some lying around here we could use as a makeshift winder. When you saying, oh, we have like an inventory now. Okay, they're just adding a whole bunch of new stuff. Okay, we need to find a winder and then some other things. Okay, fireplace. Fire, <laughs> Fire inside is roaring, filled with a great many logs. Yeah, nothing is happening there. Cabinet. Last doors that are shut. Looks like this cabinet's locked. I'll have to smash the glass. No, Lucy. <laughs> you might inadvertently destroy one of the traps itself, running impossible to get any further. There must be key for it somewhere, and that's your way in. Oh, alright then, if you say so. Or could use violence. Come back and re examine the cabinet just when you find something looks like a key. They are introducing a lot more mechanics here. Hmm. Okay, so let's see these. Okay, Hornless is the beast that leads the way. So cat. Start with the cat. It could be, then what else would the 
point B. I want to do like time wise first. Yeah. And it starts at 12. And then there's cat, right? Yeah, cat, T, car. That's all four. Oh, they've come back out again. Can't be the right order. Uh, try from the cat. Yeah, but everything else is just gonna be it. No, the cat, not the, not the cars. Oh, uh, whatever. Oh, wait, that wasn't the uh, whatever. I read cars as cat. Well, hey, a hornless beast would be a car. I guess, maybe. It's weird seeing animation. Yeah, like yeah, I know. Cat and T. Swine before, like, what was it? Something before swine? Bovine before swine. I don't know what that means. Me either. Maybe try that one room we haven't visited yet. Oh, there's also stairs. Hey, they're using the same bed model. Bed! <laughs> the bed returns. Oh my gosh, it's the bed! My favorite character. A musty smelling bed. The bedding's very damp and has a questionable odor. Swine follows after canine. I'm guessing this is for um, a different... It's probably something you, you should write down. But I, it like, doesn't it's... make any sense! Oh, what the? Oh. There is just like a lot more going on now. No fast pair of tweezers is the tip. They're fine. Okay. So it's gonna be the music box thing, isn't it? Nice. We have an inventory. <gasps> it's a key! That was easy. Uh, try for the cabinet now, then, I guess. Yeah, I just wanna... Also the stairs, but you can't put that. You're a brine? Jump scare! <laughs> These stairs lead out the cellars, however, Cisa can't escape as officers have been guarding the top the entire time. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I suppose we have to try the, uh... Hmm. Okay, uh, we can use the tweezers now. What? Wrong. Doesn't look like this was work as a winder. Yes, it does. Don't waste time with the music box, Lucy. It really makes a difference whether you hear it play or not. It does! I want to know what tune it plays! Bed. <laughs> <laughs> the bed. I don't think I don't think anything works. To be really, honest, really, the Unless tweezers the would have totally worked. Mm -hmm. Lost the rickety key, but like. Well, we're gonna have to figure it out, but. We will figure it out. Uh, try the glass. What's the right key? Yeah, let's go! We did it! It's a perfect fit for the lock, Prof! But it doesn't want to turn for some reason. It's very fragile, Lucy. You'll need to be gentle with it, otherwise it'll... Crack! <laughs> no! <laughs> Who said that? Oh no! Our key! It's broken! <laughs> Break. <clears throat> Hi, that's done it. It's broken. Sorry. Never mind. Our first priority now should be to remove the broken fragment from That's the keyhole. That's why we have tweezers, baby. <clears throat> oh, I've gone and made more work for stuff and stuff. Then maybe we use the broken key as 
Uh, These are yes. Tweezers. Yeah, baby. Prof, I've managed to get that bit of the broken key out of the lock with the tweezers. Ah, good. That's a relief. Now we can get on with finding the key, eh? Let's not try to break the key next time, shall we? Yeah. Now I can we use this normal music box? Broken key. Right. Look at this, Prof. A broken key fits in here like a glove. Maybe you won't be able to wind up the spring. I don't know about that. Oh, look at that. The lid's popped open. It's spinning over. A proper uh, key now, eh, Prof? Swish key? Key that's been hidden in the music box, very ornately decorated, and appear to be rather special. Well, now we got that. where's the key to this cabinet? I wonder. I wonder. It could be the clock hand. I wonder. Wait, where is this? There it is. This fits the lock perfectly, Prof. We're in, I reckon. Not a moment too soon. I want to get back to the office. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't like being here, do you, Prof? Why didn't you just say no if you hate it that much? That's all very well in theory, but don't forget it was Hilda who made the request. Just who is this Hilda last, Prof? It is love and truth. <laughs> yes, of course, you don't know, do you? Well, it works for Interpol. She's involved in international Inter crime prevention. Literally just Interpol. That's funny. What? That last I met in the corridor? Hey, I had no idea. That sounds pretty grand. He's by far the most successful of our class. Your class? Were you two ever... Er... Uh, what did he say? Er, um, no, no. Let's get, Let's get this cabin open, shall we? Let's get this bread. A bread a obtained. Date. Al, rhino, dog, pig. Okay, so this is where that stuff was. Large cup, sporty emblem of a cow. It's probably not, probably good for holding a liquid, but not much else. Oh, we're just Sport taking liquid. them. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Well, that's that sorted. Okay, so I'm thinking we've got a. S I don't know, we do the cat thing. But I'm guessing that's where we need to go next. I mean, there has to be something with the way this, uh, this bookshelf works. White cat, WC from 3 o'clock. Do we just start with the white cat? I feel like we start with the white cat and then go around from there. Could be. Well, I can try that. And WC could be backwards for clockwise, so... We already pushed in the cat book, so all we need to do is go for T. Then cars, then Grand Smith's diet. Right? How about that, eh? 
They're not coming back out. So, have we cracked it? Okay, so it's unlocked now. Oh my gosh, it's a toilet. It's so weird just you know, like being able to do actual environmental puzzles and stuff herself. now. Flushed herself down the toilet. She flushed her down the toilet. Put the Master Chief in the toilet. <clears throat> Who put your Master Chief in the soda? A very dirty toilet that you'd really rather not use. The flush animal is what doesn't work. Smelly Smell note. It. it reads, Horn is the last beast to go, the flames dying in its wake. I think this has to do something with the fireplace then. A rather slimy tap seems to be connected to that because water flows from it. Looks like you could fill some up from this, Pruff. Like a goblet. It's something you want to fill with water. Just um, fill all the goblets. Uh, maybe, no, a hornless beast leads the way, so... Uh, dog. As right now. But, but pigs also are hornless. But, but there's no, a swine before... But bovine but... before swine. So logically, it has to be oh, dog, yeah. cow, swan, pig, rhino. Okay. Let's fill this up. Uh, I'm assuming we have to fill the bathtub up, but I don't have the bathtub no, here. I think we gotta, we've got to fill up all of the. Uh, all oh, the sure. Right? Might as well okay, so. Where are they? <laughs> Where are the rest of these? Oh, there they are. There they are. Uh, oh, mine before swine. This was something. The swine. Right now. Hmm. I'm not sure that we have anything else that can hold water. I wonder what we can use all the water we've got for now. Plugs missing, so it can't be filled. Okay. I'm guessing uh, it, can't. Uh, it could do with the fireplace. It's the only guess I have because it's the same with the flame dying. Yeah. Hey, we might be able to put out the fire with all the water in the goblets. Interesting idea. Why don't you try it and see what happens? Okay, so dog. Dog first. Still hasn't gone in. Dog. Uh, then bovine before swine, so cow. Yeah. Then swine. Right now. Right. <laughs> hey. Oh, that just lives. We are a genius. Geniuses. No, we're just a single genius. <laughs> I find this must be the way into the secret room. The mystery room, maybe. <gasps> but the secret room. lays in the brother inside. <gasps> Good, let's go in. You know, Atista's probably in here, don't you, Prof? Do you think we'll, we can handle her on our own? There's like a little girl and she will be fine she doesn't seem to have any intention of killing us oh how do you know that 
If she'd want us dead, she would have set far more dangerous traps for us. I suppose that's true. We were never in any danger. Lucy, don't say that! <laughs> Although... I? Well, I can't imagine Hill doing stump at what we've just come through. What does that tell us? That she's in on it. I'm not sure exactly, since perhaps Hilda wanted a tea and item meat for some reason. Oh. Is he cursed by the statue? You seem to know this Hilda last very well, Prof. Yes, I do. We've been closely acquainted for some time. Oh, I see. Alright, then let's go in. Batista will be waiting for us. Let's go! Who the heck are you? We've got you now, Batista! <laughs> Who is this? Hey, up! Who are you? You, you don't know? Nope. Wait, it was. Oh man. Wait, how? Is there just straight up paranormal things Batista. going on now? Try to disguise yourself, eh? My real name is Diane Makepeace. What is going on? Uh, shapeshifter. Makepeace. I mean, mm -hmm, Makepeace. Oh, maybe we'll just That's use right. Solid Snake for the other one. The daughter of Keelan Makepeace. The man you murdered. <gasps> oh no. Ain't no way! Ain't uh, uh, uh. He did murder someone. Oh, a prof? I knew it. So that's what this is all about. <clears throat> Colonel, I want a fried chicken bucket from KFC. <laughs> so that's what this is all about. <laughs> Colonel. Hey, body prof again. Let me guess, you're the one who took out the mobsters in Mercy Shore. Impressive. Those oiks betrayed my fawns betrayed my father. So I killed them. So you mean this lass is the snogger that young lad saw at the Whoa, she does not look 18 game. <laughs> and you've come for me. How delightful. I, I lost the voice immediately. Colonel, I am here at Shadow Moses Island. And now you've come for me? How delightful. I can't do it. Or... Oh, I'd love to. But it's not time yet. When I'm ready, I'll let you know. Make sure you show up when I send you an invitation. What, show up to his own murder? Aye, that's likely. Oh, I think Leighton will come. He'll be too curious about what happened at Forbodium Castle to miss it. What do you know? Hee <laughs> hee. We're done here for now. Ta ta. Wait! Come on, Prof, after her! Why bother? Eh? Kill those people have the place surrounded. They will? If they can't catch her, there's no point in us giving chase. Okay. Okay. Um. Do we want to go to the next case? I mean, the thing is, this one is a five star, which that I think like means... a good finale. Yeah. So that I mean, like I don't finale. think I think this is going to be longer and just be an actual chase, like case, and this is just hmm. going to be the like big one. Yeah, that's gonna be the big one. Do we want to do one more? Because I'd be down for it. Or... You want to do this one? Sure. I don't know how long it's gonna take us, but hopefully uh... not that long. Yeah, sure. I guess we can. Yolo. 
Plus, uh, we can have one good final finale stream next week for the final case thing. And then she just ran off, you see. In other words, in other you... words, oh, you right, yeah, let make Peace's now. daughter get away. I. But who would have thought there'd be an old underground railway system that? What? Uh. Hmm. Never mind. I can't believe how she's grown up. Make Peace's daughter. Of course. You know all about them jigsaw puzzle killings from four years ago, don't you, Justin? I was on the team investigating them, yes. Then for goodness sake, tell me what happened at Forbodium Castle. It's best you stay all out of that, Lucy. Once tell her she works with the guy. Tell her. Yeah, exactly. She's working with a murderer. Yeah, like, she could just leave now. Like, she, but, I wouldn't even put it yeah, past exactly. her, since that's just actual mortal danger you're putting her in by not telling her. Exactly. But something happened back then between the prof and Diane's father, didn't it? I see. You already know, do you? Not enough, no. Come on, spill the beans. Very well, but I'm only going to say this once, so pay attention. Oh, I will. Don't you worry. So, as you know, four years ago, we were trying to get to the bottom of the jigsaw puzzle killings. I won't bore you with the details, but in the end, Al finally managed to pinpoint the culprit. His name was Keelan Makepeace. I, Diane's dad. Yes, anyway. Make peace was hiding out in an old room for Bodium Castle. So that's how the castle comes into it all. Al and myself, Hilda, and the commissioner set off to apprehend him. Me? The commissioner? Out in the field? It was a special case. The commissioner wanted to be right there to call the shots. Oh, I see. We were all supposed to go in together, but Al tried to be a hero and went on ahead of the rest of us. Give over! Not the prof! Willingly going somewhere? Hmm, yes. Rain was hammering down. It was dark inside, and confusing with all the rooms and passages. Oh jeez, that's Sylvania Castle Zone. <laughs> no! Is that Sonic no! 4 episode 2 right no! as well? No! No! <laughs> what, what are we doing? <laughs> I'm sorry, I think I have PTSD from that. <laughs> uh, the crashing issues. <laughs> yeah. We were desperately trying to find Al. Before we did, we heard a shot ring out in the darkness. Yikes! It came from above us, on the castle roof, but the door leading up there was barred shut. I can see this, like, art piece being on the cover box for, like, a board game or something. Same, honestly. It's giving that kind of vibe. <laughs> Mystery at Forbodium Castle. Yeah. It's just like a clue cl clue ripoff. <laughs> yeah, basically. The commissioner started going at it with an axe uh, when there were two more shots. No! Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Stop protecting that. That's <laughs> fine. Okay. Yes. The commissioner finally managed to break the door down and gain access to the roof. But, well, it was a bloodbath up there. Al and Makepeace both, were both down. He died? Death. Alfendi's died? He died and then got resurrected? But the Pruff were alright, of course. Right? Yes, make peace was dead, but by some miracle, Al managed to escape with his life. 
uh, this just seems like some setup to be like it wasn't him who was there his brother d again he is a brother no one talks about that he's a brother are they yeah, twins exactly. it's Layton brothers where is the other brother I mean, come on I'm glad we're Intrigue. getting some explanation but well he wasn't the same how do you mean? I think you know, Lucy. Ever since that incident, Al suffered from some sort of split personality disorder. Was 2013. True. I have people still have issues with that, but I guess today yeah. I was, uh... I, I think he can be your angle or your devil. Devil. <laughs> yes. So that's when Potty Pruff were born, eh? At Forbodium Castle. Also, where did the Potty Pruff come from? Where did you that see, come from? In between chapters, probably. <laughs> no, that Which just came funny. out of nowhere the funny. past couple chapters. <laughs> and it's like, I'm okay. <laughs> Anyways. You know Al. He could have shot the man. I, uh, I feel like he could have. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't put it past him. At least, uh... No. Something changed inside him that day. Something snapped in his mind. Poor Prof. He made a tumble anyway, account, that's... Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> he... Pro Give over, Prof. You didn't do that, did you? I'm going to Tumblr High School, Lucy. I'm attending Twitch. I'm attending Dashcom, Lucy. <laughs> ah. Anyways. Anyway, that's all really all I could tell you about Promodium Castle. Does it answer your questions? Oh, I. Not very much. Not really. I think kind of, but it's going to ask a lot I more. I mean, give some origin story to this. Now, where the devil is Al? You really should be here by now. Alfendi. Oh, hello, Hilda. I forgot what voice I gave her. If you're looking for Al, I'm afraid he's not here yet. Crikey, what's the matter with you? You're as white as a sheep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've received an invitation from Diane Makepeace. Oh my god, I just got the joke in her name. What's the... Uh, Diane Makepeace. Uh, Diane Makepeace, and her father's uh, Keel and Makepeace, and he died. Eh? Uh? What a name. So, where's the party? Fort Bodium Castle convenient e, I bet that's where the prof is he's going in alone again I'll double check to make sure he isn't in here isn't here in the station anywhere you two get to the castle all right right you are no heroics okay I'll get some backup together and be with you shortly I honestly can't remember the journey with Hilda to Forbodium Castle now. The only vague memories I have are the constant din of the driving rain onto windows, and the sweet smell of Hilda's perfume. I looked up into the sky, and it were black, like someone had shucked a bottle of ink up there. No cute traveling drawings? Ham and cheese. Because yeah. she doesn't remember, you see. Yeah. If she did remember, there would be cute travel drawings. We're here. So this is it, eh? Forbodium Castle. That's strange. What's strange? Doctor Strange. <laughs> <laughs> there should be agents here. Secret ones. It must be Diane. Come on, Hilda, there's no time to lose. Wait. 
I mean, what's wrong? We don't know what's waiting for us inside. It could be a trap. Why? It could. Also, they're standing out in the rain. Yeah, they are. She has a coat, but she's too cool to put it on. Yeah. We must stick together. Do not leave my side under any circumstances. Is that clear? Hi, that's Crystal. Pepsi. <laughs> yes. Now come on, we've got to find the prop. You know, I was really surprised that Crystal Pepsi was referenced in that Mappy Web series. <laughs> oh. That's like, man. Their first some of that. Yeah, they referenced Crystal Pepsi, and it's like, only the best pieces of media, like, mappy web series and fully coolly referenced Crystal Pepsi. <laughs> They're Control basically the same thing. didn't reference Pepsi. I don't know, did they reference? I'm not gonna say I that. They probably remember. didn't. That entire incident was a blur. <laughs> incident. Yeah. That incident. We will not divulge any further details. There she goes. That girl has no idea. Like she's gonna get oh, murdered. In on this? Yeah, I... Is she just gonna become a ghost at the end of this? Or just have severe trauma? Eee! It's pitch black in here! It's just as it was four years ago in a night unlike this one. It was pouring with rain then, too. It's so dark and... Helda, look! There's a light on in there. You can see it around the door frame. Oh, yes. Uh, Lucy, help. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. That, that were the proof. Quick, he's in trouble. Lucy, they, they're banning NSFW off of Tumblr. <laughs> Tumblr oh, stocks about? are going down through the f floor. Yahoo bought Tumblr. <laughs> Prof, are you having a stroke? I can't make heads or tails of your um ramblings. No, Lucy, wait. <laughs> Prof! Yep, there's no one in here. Ah! That's a body! I think. What's the pig mask for, though? What was going on? Miss Baker, like a moth to my flame, straight into my trap. Oh, that's Is Diane. That you? Oh, of course. Is that you, Diane? Why are you talking to me through a speaker? Correct, Miss Baker. Yes, it's me. It's me? Five minutes you, know, <laughs> you know, you really ought to listen to what people tell you. Sorry? What was it Hilda said to you right now? Do not leave my side under any circumstances, was it? Oh, heck! Where is she? I can't op open the door! You've locked me in here, haven't you? Correct again! Leaving Hilda all on her own. So much easier to kill her that way. This game has just turned into an entirely different game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's turned into Danganronpa. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. You wouldn't! Said by someone who has no idea what Danganronpa is even really about. <laughs> Same. Oh dear. Do you want to leave? What do you think? Then let me give you a fighting chance. What do you mean? In this very room, I have reconstructed an old case. Oh my gosh, reconstruction room reference? Oh, gee. She reconstructed! Oh! <laughs> She's reconstructing. Yeah. She reconstructed! 
A particularly nasty case of murder. All you have to do is solve it. Who killed Pig? Damn, Peppa Pig's father is dead. No, I forgot his name. I think you know, it was just George. No, I George is her brother. Oh, I don't know my lore clearly. Oh, so this is a yeah. weird image to see in a game that's been all gruesome. Yeah. Find the correct answer to my little puzzle, and I'll let you out. You want me to work out the culprit of some random crime that happened goodness knows when? In a word, yes. Hang on, this one isn't one of them, is it? You know, where Miss Marple announces, it were all of them. This isn't crime fiction. This is real. Rest assured, there is only one culprit in this case. The case files are right there on the table. Best of luck to you. Do hurry, or unfortunate things may happen to your friends. Hey, what do you mean, unfortunate things? Da -da 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 -da. Oh well, there's not for it then. I'll have to figure it out who killed this pig. Hilda will be fuming. I best get out of here and apologize for running off before she bursts a blood vessel. That's the only thing you're concerned about right now, not the fact that Alfendi is who knows where. He's in, in pain, it seems. So, where are these files then? Here we are. Now let's see. What the? <laughs> Ooh, that's an interesting cat right there. Yeah. They're all wearing masks. All the suspects are dressed up as animals as well. Welcome. There was a furry convention in this room 30 minutes prior. Let's go. Okay, so pick here's the victim. A wealthy chap by the looks. Millionaire and victim of the case. On the day in question, Pig apparently had arranged his sweet dog and donkey for some business discussions. And who have we got for suspects? Cat, the dead pig's wife. Cat, the victim's wife. Cat stood to gain a vast sum of money in life insurance from her husband's death. It's always like this like relationship thing. <laughs> Even yeah. in the fake one. Time. Also, that's a cool design that could be, I want to see interpreted as a sweeper. Yes. Blinks. Blinks reference. Yeah. An obscure game referencing an obscure game? We already referenced the Mappy cartoon. It's, it's fine. <laughs> yes. We already a lot of obscure things. All right. And the housekeeper. Hen, housekeeper at the mansion, Hen had become increasingly annoyed by her employer's tight fistedness. Dog, a trader who had a business meeting lined up with Pig on today in question. Dog, trader of dubious character. On the day in question, Dog has scheduled a meeting with Pig to talk business. He owed the victim a considerable sum of money. Indeed. And Donkey, some kind of jeweler. Who also had a meeting scheduled with the victim on that day. Donkey. Shady gemstone merchant. On the day in question, Donkey had scheduled a meeting with Pig to talk business. Being well aware of Donkey's fraudulent activities, Pig had the upper hand. Well, they've all got motive, that's for sure. What else have we got here? What are all these photos? They all look alike. Here we go. There's a note on them. I see, this pig were a wary fellow. It set all, a load of hidden cameras around the place. These photos show the comings and goings from this room on the day of the murder. The only two people that knew about the camera were Pig himself and his missus, Cat. Interesting. It seems like you should be able to figure out what rough, roughly what happened just by looking at these, then. How inconvenient. Talking to us? So, which one's first? Elvo 2, Cat arrives onto scene and goes into the room. Are these real photos of people Diane murdered? Or 
What? Did she just dress up as all of them for these photos? I'm so, I'm a bit confused on how she got these. Same. Also, I think this is recreating the DJ murder. Hmm. Intriguing. 12-11. Cat comes out of the room again. Oh dear, with Pig yelling down the corridor after her. That's rude. Looks like they had a fight then. 1216, that dog, the traitor, turns up and goes inside. According to the paperwork, Pig were expecting him to turn up for a meeting that day. 1228, dog leaves the room. 1232, now Donkey turns up and goes inside. 1236, and hey, up, dog's back again. Now, we haven't had a picture yet of showing up Donkey leaving, so the two of them must be in there together. 12.42, there you go. Dog and Donkey both coming out of the room. Look! Seem frustrated. Oh, but hang on. At 12.43, Dog goes back in. He must have forgot someone. And take note that the Donkey's in the corner, because that's probably going to be something hmm. weird. 12.44, Dog comes back out and leaves with Donkey. We were waiting for him in the corridor. And they were roommates. 12.49, a new face. Him, the housekeeper, goes into the room. 13.06, she comes out again. And then it's just... 13.11, Cat goes into the room and discovers the body. I act that's a lot of photos. And a lot of comings and goings. I think my head's going about to explode. If only there had been a camera to show us what happened inside the room as well. Too easy, I suppose. They say that a lot. We could really do with some statements from everyone involved as well. Now I suppose I'll have to try to figure out what the cause of death and what were used to kill the victim. That's elementary stuff, that is. I can hear the prof in my head telling me that. It's elementary, Lucy. Oh, thank you, prof. Well, at least I've got an idea of where to start, I suppose. Keep your chin up, Prof. And you too, Hilda. I'll solve this case, no trouble. She will not solve this case, no trouble. We'll okay, no problem. statements. Who's the culprit? Murder weapon. Probably should find the murder weapon. Yeah. If I want to figure out what the murder weapon was, I'll have to ascertain how Pig died first. I'll try to find some evidence that shows what the cause of death were then. Let's go. So, recreation of an old case. I... My first thought's a DJ case, but this also could be like... What's one where that had a lot of people coming and going? The very could... first one. Yeah, that was my other thing. They also have the housekeeper thing going on, too. John Pork, is that you? <laughs> John Pork found dead in Ohio. Oh my god. Oh. Why have it covered so, so far? That's the proof. That's not the proof. Forensics report. Killed in a single blow from behind with a heavy blunt object. Well, that reveals the cause of death. No, that actually oh. does reveal Right. This is the crime scene investigation report from the original case! Oh, I'm sorted now. Then, this will tell me exactly how Pig died. I just need to hunt about for the murder weapon. Yeah, I'm gonna see the corpse. Dead body has been covered with the a pig mask. The weapon is the corpse. The corpse killed the corpse. This is a pig mask, clearly. So the pig mask suffocated him. Blunt objects. Fishy button. <laughs> that is the weapon. Okay, yeah, you're right. right. That's probably not going to be anything there. Um, hmm. Whiskey in an ashtray. 
Picks the fingerprints around the bottle, no traces of blood. Okay. Hmm. Scones, tea, wallet, lace. Blood stain. Blood stain. Oh. Several drops of blood have made a stain on the floor, but that's on there. So, did someone move the corpse? Drawer in the desk, the drawers are locked. This particular one is open. No, it's not. Oh, uh, guess it's just unlocked. Pig and hen's fingerprints are on there, but no traces of blood. Eh, maybe. So, so why would hen pick up the face? To clean it, I guess. I suppose. There are only cards inside, no cash at all. Hans fingerprints are identified on the leather. Uh, uh Han is looking very sus right now. It's gonna be like the first case, but with your hunch from the first one that was the cleaning lady that did it. Yeah. Some darjeeling makes... tea that has gone completely cold. There's some indications that pig drank some of it. Play on raisin scones, one of them has a bite to count. Obviously that's the weapon. I mean, I could maybe see the vase being a potential weapon. Windows locked, who cares? On the day of the murder, this window's locked from the inside. Oh my gosh! That didn't already- we didn't already find that out? Wait, the book's case. A bookcase full of books. Simple but high quality lamp is not switched on. You know, it could be a book. They could have just straight up heard it with a book. Hmm. No, this isn't it. There'd be some about here you could use to put a pig out of its misery. I'm gonna guess the lamp, the vase. Yeah, that's what I'm it's thinking. Like, it's like very, that's not very fragile. Or yeah, I feel like it would have broke. There's a note on the floor. The store is unlocked. Yeah. Okay, sure. Oh, I never would have guessed. It is now locked. Yeah. Because someone locked it. Sure. No, this isn't it. Okay. I mean, this is a blunt object. Maybe the whiskey bottle? That's what I was thinking originally, but it didn't really seem important. Hmm. No, this isn't it. Well, then what is? I mean, yeah, there's someone here to say you're wrong. Yeah. The only butt in his really leaves have been squashed by smoked by donkey. Oh, oh, traces oh. of blood that on it. Oh, okay. Ooh. Well, oh, hi, this fits nicely in your hand, doesn't it? And it's getting weighty, too. Not to mention the traces of blood someone's tried to wipe off it. So, beat to death in the back of a head with an ashtray, of all things. Yeah. Aye, there's no question. This ashtray is what did pick in. And it's that heavy. You wouldn't need much muscle to do some hefty damage. It could have been a lass. No Who's state. the culprit? Now here's a puzzle. Even if I have figured out who did it, how do I let Diane know? Yee, I've completed my Bush Tucker trial, but I'm still in the jungle. That's hardly fair. Now, surely there's some way I can get her attention. I'll have to look around and find some way to get a hold of Diane so I can tell her I've solved it. Uh, does that, like, matter sure, to find the culprit? But yeah, that's right, the button. What's this button here for, eh? Hey, up. So, you know who killed Pig already? Der, well, no, not exactly. I mean, I, I just pressed the button, that's all. 
boring. You're supposed to press this button when you know who did it. But if you just want to mess around instead, I can always just kill you first. She wouldn't really kill me, surely. Yeah, I don't want to think about it, actually. Come on, last back to the investigation. Back to the murder of John Cork. So, this button's to call Diane when, the, when I've worked out who the culprit is. Right then. Okay, so we need to find a way to... Yeah, we want no stakes. She's the culprit. Wait. Uh, okay, I guess we're just looking for it then. We're looking for we're looking for the um evidence the that... no statements thing. Yeah. No, not so that. We're looking back. for who the culprit is. We might want to go back to the no statements. That will lead to the who's the culprit. The snaps from a hidden camera tell us who came and went that day, but still. What we crucially don't know is what went on inside the room. I could really do with a statement or two from all the suspects to get more of a handle on the situation. Um, I mean, just the notes, I guess. But I don't know what we really need to look for for statements, because we just straight up don't have any. Yeah. Which is why I wasn't doing that. Wait, we didn't check this area before. A rather spectacular indoor plant, but as tall as an average person. As tall as the average human mother. There's nothing particularly <laughs> suspicious about it. I yeah. was like, um, re-watching that video. The top 10 hottest female side character things. Oh, that video. It was like, she's about the size of an average human mother. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what are you talking Ow. about? I think that was a joke bit. I don't think it was. Uh, there have been parodies in my jokes, but I think the original one is real. It's like, when was the last time you heard someone had three perfectly shaped spikes coming out of their head? Wow. It's like, huh? <laughs> I mean, I think... I like, uh, I like the one with the same guy where he's just like, Doing? Your mom? How insulting! <laughs> I don't know that one, but it's just with it's with a splash text. It literally has a splash text, and the, he and he's just stares at. It. He's like, "Doing your mom? How insulting!" That's so. I'll send it to you after this. It's, it's really cool. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see it. A hat stand with hooks for coats, not designed to move. Okay, and hey, and did we need to know that? I don't think so. Um, Unless we find that someone's missing a hat, I guess. I mean, but... Okay. Yeah, I don't know where we're going with this. I don't know where we're going or how to get there yet. Which is why I was going to do just, the culprit one. Unless we just spam the victim button, I don't know. I think we can find evidence for who's the culprit more easily than get the other thing. Oh wait, the wallet. Check the wallet or vase. Because why why is Hen's why are Hen's fingerprints on the wallet? Yeah. That no no me. comment on that, Lucy. Like seriously, why are Hen's fingerprints Maybe the blood stain? I don't know. Oh yeah, the blood stain. I presume it I presume that comes from There we go. Ah Hey up, oh, a little blood stain, look. What's that doing over here when the victim's body over there on the sofa? That they were clearly... Uh, nothing. <laughs> Just, uh... Okay, so what was, it, what was it doing over here? It means they are moved, most likely. <laughs> they let you zoom in like that. That's so creepy. So he's over here on the sofa. 
Um, I don't know uh, why. <laughs> we didn't get the drawer, I suppose. There's there's a drawer open. Oh. That's the one thing we're missing. I just mean I think it just means un oh wait what the oh, heck? Wait, oh wait oh 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 wait now we, we get statements. Wait, but we literally ah, looked there before. There we go. What? We literally looked there before and didn't open? Ooh, statements for all the suspects now. This should be fun. At last! Statements! What a funny place to put them. So first we've got the victim's wife, Kat. I see. She were bringing her husband some tea and scones. Cat, statement one. My husband was in perfect health and I took him his tea and scones. In fact, he was so full of beans he wouldn't stop whining at me. I switched off. But then she says she was whining at her? What a pig. Or maybe she were being catty. Statement two. I'm the one who found the body, yes, but I certainly didn't kill him. After all, if I'd done that, I wouldn't get a settlement from the insurers, would I? Damn, okay. Then there's a statement from the housekeeper, Hen. Get that right. Hmm, it were all peachy in the barn. Eh? A lover's tip. Or were there more to it, I wonder? Hen, statement one. The master and his wife were always arguing. I bet she wanted something, that's why. That was a wee bit odd, she's taking him teen scones. Hey, up, she says she never went in the room? Statement 2. I never went into the master's room that day. Not once. I might have passed by the door once or twice, but I never went inside. Okay, well, that's immediately no, no, disprovable. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> now then, let's see what the dog's got to say for himself. Hey, some violent tendencies showing themselves here. Dog, statement 1. I didn't even see Pig once that day. He's got a cheek. Getting me to come up here, then not showing up. I could kill him. No, but he's already dead. Yep, forgot some it, he says. Leave something behind? Yeah, my bag. I went back in to fetch it. Only took me a sec, though, and Donkey was outside the door the whole time. No time to kill a pig. That's a bit sus, that is. Mind you, he were only back into room for a very short time. Maybe there's not more to it than what he says. Next up's the jeweler, the donkey. Bit funny having a donkey used into gyms. A magpie or someone would be better for that. Donkey, statement one. I never killed him. He wasn't even there. I went into his room, but he was nowhere to be seen. You can ask Dog. He turned up not long after me. Not gonna lie, it kind of would be funny if... When we did like a video game donkey voice. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I never can't killed do him. Voices. He wasn't. He wasn't even there. I went to his room, but he was nowhere to be seen. You can ask Dog. He turned up not long after me. Yeah. I don't know how to do the voice. Now, once Dog came along, there's no time when Donkey were into room alone with Pig. Statement two. I left with Dog to find Pig with dog his coat was still hanging up in the room so we knew he must be in the mansion somewhere didn't expect to find him dead it's him it's him it's him it which probably be, is make it, it's him which would make it pretty tricky to get up to any monkey business there's not a monkey in the case lucy I, yeah on. i thought she was literally like or donkey business in this case exactly and that's a lot of them they missed a golden opportunity for a pun. Hmm. There's one thing I can deduce from that straight away. Based on the facts so I've ascertained so far, one of these statements is a lie. Let me just pick it out. It's Start the hand. Questioning. It's the hand. It's the hand. Oh, wait, uh, uh the one where he's... The room that day? Yeah, it's the hand. Exactly. I, this statement made by the housekeeper, Hen. She says she were, never went into room where pig were killed. 
but the hidden camera says otherwise. Womp womp. I don't think I've ever seen a more guilty looking chicken in all my life. Aye, she were up to something there and no mistake. Maybe she didn't kill him, but just robbed him instead. <laughs> like he died earlier, she just came to take his wallet. <laughs> like the cash in his wallet or something. Is that there's no cash in there? Hmm. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I don't like much like where it's looking on your Todd Lark. There's no one to say if you're on the right track or not. That's not gonna stop me. No chance. So we've got the picture of him looking dead guilty coming out of the room. The fact that she lied on her, in her statement. And a murder weapon that could easily have been wielded by a woman. That's the important part here, Lucy. <laughs> I think it's fair to say that I've cracked it. Pig's killer was... N. The game agrees with you. So come on, Diana. Deal's a deal. Let us out now. Da -da -da -da. Oh, looks like shouting it out's not going to do the trick. I'll have to get Diane's attention first. Which we already know how to do, so just go to the button and press it. This is the culprit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on, let's do it. Or it's gonna plot twist. I don't think N probably did it, just because it seems too easy. So, do you know who did it? I pressed the button, didn't I? Okay, then. <laughs> Just push the button. I did it. <laughs> Don't need to tell you. Conclusion. Who killed Pig? Obviously the killer is. Hen, the housekeeper. Oh, really? Don't get too excited, will you? I know. I'll be Hen for a while and you can try to get the truth out of me. Yeah, he'll be him. <laughs> you, you can voice him. Fuck, fuck. Ouch. I cannot have killed the mess. Do you know Ken? Genokin? I'm gonna say it's Irish. Oh, sure, you can. Now I've seen everything. You can't see her. You're on a radio. <laughs> I never went to the message room that day. So how is I supposed to have killed him, eh? Tell me that. Aye, but that's a lie, isn't it? And I can prove that because... Uh... And goes Everyone, in. it's 106, I think. Or at the very end, or second last. Oh, wait, no, two. Okay, so it's the other one, two. Yeah. There you go. Enter next today. Exactly. You were caught on film on your way in and out of the hidden room. Aye, there's a camera, hidden camera, Chuck. Chuck. A hidden camera? That's right. Everyone coming and going through that doorway has been snapped. I have nay heard of that before, Lassie. Nor would you have. Peg and Cat were the only two who knew anything about it. That's interesting that Cat also knew about it. Yeah. Well, I mean... She was his wife. Well, yeah, I just mean she could have manipulated her actions to appear less sussy on him. Hmm, maybe. Because they did say it was weird that she was bringing him something. The evidence so... is undeniable. Admit it. You killed Pig. Your point, your stuff. Poppycock. I didn't lay a feather on him. How would I have any reason to... Ma murdered the master. If it's a motive you're after, I'll give you one. Uh, probably the... wallet. Exactly. Your fingerprints have been found all over your employer's wallet. And you were after money, and you killed Pig for it. Luck? 
exclamation point. Hi. Fuck. Ouch, you got me. I I did stick my beak into the master's wall, and I shouldn't have. But I didn't murder him. I can't believe I had the pluck to take the money, to be honest. You're not still going to deny it, surely. I'm far too chicken to do something so horrible. I went to clear away the tea, and that's the truth. But then why didn't you clear away the tea? He just went in, saw he was dead, took the money, and left. He spent like 17 minutes in there. Now be fair, Diane. I've done what you asked, and I figured out who did it. I am being fair, and it's telling the truth. Give over! You're saying she's not the culprit, really? Ha ha ha. I wonder. Perhaps you'd better investigate a bit more thoroughly and see if it's even possible that Hen did it, no? Hey, wait a minute! Sounds like she's saying Hen couldn't have done it. Have I missed something somewhere? I don't think you believe got Believe the heart of the cards, Lucy. From what Diane said when I presented the case, it seems like I might not be on the right track. Perhaps Hen isn't the culprit after all. She even implied that there's uh, so somewhere here there's actual evidence that proves him can't be the killer. It's the wife, because this game only knows how to do murders where it's one partner being jealous of the other. Eh, I don't know. That seems like such a cop out. But I mean, she was literally just like, oh, I can't kill her because of the insurance money, which, you know, actually, I probably does make Cat not suspicious. I think I'd better investigate a little more. Thought we already proved stuff, but whatever. What proves Hen isn't the killer? I don't know. Uh. Oh, wait. Uh... Yeah. Hmm. Well, maybe the ashtray? Someone tried to wipe off the blood, but... I mean, she didn't clear away the tea. Yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna try it first. Okay, wait, though. I can't see how this evidence has... See, okay, if she had killed Pig, then she would have had to move Pig. Yeah, that's true. Try the blood stain. Uh, I'm gonna try the corpse, because that's what moved. Can't see any of it now, okay. Okay, Lucy. Okay, okay, well, same. Then. Uh, because... Does that not have any evidence? Come on, Lucy! Someone would have had the move. The what? Oh, vase? Also, that also had his fingerprints on it. Yeah, I don't know. It just seems like we haven't found anyone else's fingerprints on this scene. Maybe try the forensics report. I want to see what that says. Uh. Pig. No, wait, no, oh. one on. Yeah. Killed in a single blow from behind. The victim entered his notes. Single blow from behind. Well, it can't hurt but try. Come on! Maybe the proof is on the sofa? No, I don't think so. That would be so stupid, but like, maybe? What, like, oh, he's on the sofa, so yeah. he could... Okay, good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't even, that like... That would have been so stupid. Like, oh, it's because he's on the sofa. Proof that Hen isn't the killer. Proof that she didn't kill him? 
I mean, the obvious thing is just he moved clearly in a way that would have been very hard for her to move him. Isn't the killer? What case? <laughs> yeah, this isn't anything. Wait, that could be a wait. That could be a blunt object, though. Hey, it could be, but it's not what was used. It's very obviously the ashtray. Yeah. Wait a second. No, I figured it out. It's got to be the ashtray because there's a cigarette in it, which means that the cigarette was put in there after it was used to murder. Indeed. So Donkey. So Pen couldn't have done it because she came in like last. Or I mean, mm. no. If that means the other two would have came in, he would have already been dead, and then Pen wouldn't have. Okay, yeah, I don't know the timeline, but it's definitely this. Oh, okay, fine. What? Cigarette butt. It's cigarette. cigarette. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Ah, there we go, finally. Hey, yep. The killer used the ashtray to do pig in. Yeah, because then the timeline doesn't make sense. Yeah. But there's a cigarette butt still in it. Surely that pins down the timing of when pig were killed, doesn't it? Aye, that means pig were done in. Last... So, I think it's in those. Let me check. Do I have. It'd be like. I just need to see who it was. Uh, Donkey. Yeah. So, the latest possible time was whenever Donkey entered. Donkey waits in the corridor. Donkey. Then Hen oh. exits. Okay. Wait, no, dog enters the room? Oh, yeah, because he's still yeah. in there. Either that or 1242. What's in this area? Actually, no, maybe not. Let me just think through that again. So she just convinces herself, no. There we go. Right. One off. Pig must have already been hit with the ashtray by the time Donkey left the room, sometime before 1242. Or the end of Donkey's cigarette. So when he were smoking it, the blast tray must have had the blood and fingerprints wiped off it already. By heck, that very ashtray had been used as a murder weapon before Donkey plonked his ash in it. And that's put Sin in the clear because she weren't in the room anywhere near the room before 1242. Is Janine over? It's like Diane were right, Hen stole money from Pig's wallet, but that's all. I called it. <laughs> Can't believe I actually called something. Why though would she just do that and like completely be fine with just the fact that there was a body there? It's like okay. I don't think she's fine, but she's I like, guess oh, she money. wiped up most of that blood injury, clearly. Right. Hi, there's no one else it could have been now that I've ruled out the housekeeper. This time of nails, I'm sure. I'm getting out of this room one way or the other. Okay, but that was it donkey or dog, or was it them together? Yeah, I don't know. Because now that means there's two people that could have possibly been in the room when the murder happened. So, who do you, you think you know who the killer is, do you? Hi, I'm bang on this time. All right then, let's have some fun. First question. Who killed Pig? Uh, okay. Um, well, there's Donkey's thing in the match. It's but... either Donkey or Dog. Hmm. It depends. Dog had scheduled a meeting. He owed the victim a considerable amount of money. Pig had the upper hand. 
Just don't you hear the thing? I need to check the uh, time. Oh boy, it's a long list. Okay. Uh, Here we go. There we go. So it was like, so donkey enters. They could have been doing stuff in there, then dog enters. There was something though that said that when the dog entered, his body wasn't even there or something like that. Like he just wasn't in the room. Hmm. Then they exit and then he returns to the room to grab his stuff. Donkey waits. Dog exits the room, rejoins. Wait. So Dog wouldn't have killed him during that time if the latest that they could have done it is 1242, when they exited. Yeah, so maybe donkey, donkey is... It's either Donkey or Pig. I don't think we're gonna get penalized for picking the wrong one anyways. I know, so. I just wanna get the satisfaction getting it right the first time. Cause, that would be nice, yeah. Because I'm actually able to do it because I don't throw any BS curveballs. <laughs> this case yeah no bs here please so i'm actually like okay i can i feel like trying to solve it so he enters the room because the thing is a cigarette could have been put out any time between these periods the only one that it couldn't have been is after 12 42 because donkey doesn't come back in the room yeah donkey is waiting outside for dog to get there Dog was also in the same room as Donkey. I just felt like there was something that said, like, he didn't even see them, but he could have been lying out. I didn't see Pig once that day. I could kill him. Never killed him. He wasn't even there. I went into his room, but he was nowhere to be seen. Which is weird. His coat was still hanging there, so he knew he must have been in the mansion, but I didn't expect to find him dead. Uh. Well, I think we can... Maybe say donkey? Sure. Dog, I feel like, has the motive, but would be not as angry in the statements if it was actually him. True. Or the jeweler, Donkey, that killed Pig. You think I killed that hog? Don't be an ass. <laughs> I's no murder. Uh, I's just an e-ordinary donkey. I don't think so. There's no two ways about it. You're the culprit. If you're so sure, I'm the one. If you're so sure I is the one that, uh, what, I is the one what done it, then tell me when I is, I is supposed to have done what I did. Uh. 12.36. Yeah, because he entered it here, then he could have killed him, then dog enters. For sure. So you're saying I killed Pig after Dog came into the room? Are you? That's what it is, what you're saying? Precisely. Go on, admit it. What? I just done it right in full view of them? Well, oh, I mean that. I meant before then. I. That's an e awful idea that is. Dog would have grasped me before I just could say wolf. Oh, hi. I suppose that doesn't make a fat loss since actually. I just got no time for what you're waffling about. I just gotta trot along now. No, oh, hang on. Wait a minute. Hmm. Looks like I might have made a few wrong deductions there. Wait, do we just try that again? Oh my gosh. Okay. Then try the other time. Yeah. Twelve thirty. Hmm. Yes. 
You arrived in for your meeting with Pig before Dog Dick, giving you just enough time to make Pig squeal. I just did get there a tad early, it's true. But that's. I just did, that's true, that is. But does that make me a killer? There's no one else who could have done it, so it must have been you. That's a bit on the hoof, isn't it? Just admit it and save us all some time, eh? E all right, that's let's say I, I cannot read these sentences. <laughs> let's say it's done what you say I saw. What I'm gonna I gonna get like a Brooklyn accent. What's I supposed to have done with that big old Hans's body then, eh? If Dog had turned up and found Pig murdered, he'd have made a gaudy, awful racket. He would. I'll tell you what you did with it. Minutes. Wow. Hey. Yeah, no, clearly hit it. Obviously. Hit it. Probably under the desk, I'm assuming, which is why there's blood. What? Well, just, you saying I hit the... No, yeah. What? You saying I hit the enormous house body in that little room? Where? Oh, never mind. Let's say I may as well hide it somewhere where I hit it. I can't read. Hi, there's bound to be somewhere in there where you could have just concealed the body. I'm sorry to be stunned, but I still couldn't have been the one to do what you're saying. Hey, I'm walking here. I'm saying it's done. Yeah, why not? I could have. Hey, I'm walking here. I could have killed Pig and hit his body, I suppose. But then how could I have moved the hidden corpse onto the sofa, eh? How's that possible? Because it's an accomplice thing. Hey, you got a point. You and Dog left the room together, didn't you? And he'd be in on it because he has a motive. Yeah. You couldn't have moved the body under the sofa before both of you left, else Dog would have seen you. I could have hidden the body, but that's all. So are you still saying I was the one that did it? I'm walking I, here. Er... I need glizzies. Looks like I kicked you in t touch there, eh? Now you'll excuse me, I got an awful lot of things to do. Okay, maybe then Dog. Because... I can't help feeling I were on the right lawns there. I just got some a bit wrong along the way. Mm. So you were on the right way. But we didn't get it right. Something. Alright, spam spam I mean, time. It, it, maybe it's just we he didn't hide it, it was somewhere else. He threw it away. But oh yeah, that doesn't make sense actually. <laughs> Do we think it's dog? Not worth a shot, I guess. I can try dog once, and then I'll go back and try to see if there's a place you could hit it. Where that dodgy dealer dog that killed pig? Me? I need word. Spurious accusations, and I warn you, won't just end with a snarl. You can't scare. Ah, heart! Heart, heart, heart oh, alert. Heart alert. You can't scare me like that. I've always been good with dogs. You're the killer and I can prove it. Because there's a heart on screen now. You're barking at the wrong tree. Where exactly did you think I had the opportunity? Okay. Um, probably here. Yeah. I've already made a statement about this. I only went back to the room for a second. There's no way I could have killed Pig in such a short amount of time. They could have. Maybe not, but... And that's not all. Up until that point, Doggy had been with me in the room the entire time. Pig wasn't even there. How could I have killed Pig without him being there? Er, uh, well... I'm not going to stand around and watch you chase your tail if you've got nothing else. We're done here. Whoever killed Pig, it wasn't me. End of. Yeah, I think we... I think maybe it was a little earlier. I got something wrong somewhere, that's all. Oh, and once again. Press that button. It's definitely dog. Dog, dog, dog. Peek 
wouldn't have done it at 1236. Yeah, okay. Dog enters the room. Dog enters the room. He entered twice. Yeah. So then he enters it again. Okay, so he showed up early. Then 20 minutes later, he shows up again. Probably when he hid the body. Yeah. And then played it off like he wasn't there. At 12.16 precisely, you paid another visit to Pig. Alone. Isn't that right? How do you know that? Who's the snow? There's a security camera out in the corridor that records everyone going in and out of the room. Huh, oh, that hog was too nosy for his own good. Is that why you killed him, is it? Because that would add motive to the obvious opportunity you had. Uh, this is turning to a shaggy dog story. I did not kill Pig. Are you serious? Mm. That's good. <laughs> like I told you, he wasn't there. I don't think so. Pig was caught on camera just a few moments earlier poking a snout around the door. He didn't leave the room after that. Are you saying he just disappeared? Let's get this straight. There's no snap of Pig leaving the room, right? No. And there's no snap of Pig's body being taken out of the room, right? Of course not. Strange. Okay, for the sake of arguments, <laughs> hypothetically, let's say I did kill Pig. If that was the case, his body would have been in the room. And it would have, if he was still in the room, it would have still been there when Donkey turned up. She would have raised the alarm then in there. But that's not what happened. Because there wasn't a body, because I didn't kill Pig. If you say differently, then tell me where the body went. It did it. Yeah. I hid him, what, buried him so I could dig him up again later? Bit far-fetched, isn't it? Maybe, but that's what you did. We are talking about the same room here, are we? Because I don't remember spotting anywhere where we could hide a whole pig. Oh, but there is somewhere, isn't there? Somewhere dead cunning where you concealed your victim's body. It were. The... Uh... It were uh, it would be under the under the table. So no, I remember maybe seeing forensics been... report too. I'm not coming up. Anyways, uh, it'd definitely be the well. It's probably the blood stain. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> are you barking? Okay. No, oh, are you breaking mad? Do you think you can hide pig in a place like that? No, I, I were only joking. Okay, good. Oh, they don't make you redo the whole thing, thank god. Okay. Uh, did I say drawer then? Because I just want the... It's not the bookcase, is it? Hide in the lamp. Mm. I'm gonna have to say... Wait a sec. Oh, oh, I see. He closed the binds. Yeah, that was not... Uh... Oh, wait. Really? Because I kind of thought no, I was like being clever going. there. Fine, sure. Wait, really? That's like the whole crux of my argument. Maybe try the forensic support too. Forensic support. That is death eating skulls. Yeah, but this is where it was hidden, not like. Yeah. That would be evidence to back up that he was at the desk, not exactly... It's not- it can't be the bookcase, can it? Sure. Oh, it is more over here? 
Why why did they put all the other stuff here? They're just chronological on it. Uh vase, sofa. I swear to god. <laughs> they did mention it being as tall as an average person. Sure. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. Yeah, okay. Okay, good. I was just that like, fun, that would be the kind of thing that this game could do on a different case. Okay, I... That's all my ideas. A hat stands? Not designed to be moved. Wait, they said... The is a what? The place on the top of the hat stand. I don't. I don't uh, know, man. Well, they said this that he took weird. his coat off and put it on that. Victim's body was hidden. In a place where it made him look like he disappeared. Under the sofa? I don't know. He could have hidden it on the sofa in plain sight. Well, I mean, then the donkey would have seen him. Hmm. Hide in okay. the corpse. Hat stand? Fine, yeah, I'll do hat stand. We tried that yet, did we? What? <laughs> Okay. Wait, what? That wait, what? That you was the answer. You put him on a hook like it were the butchers. What are you talking about? He was hidden on a handstand. Someone see? else walks what? in, and it's like, I don't see him here anywhere. <laughs> what? The handstand. How on earth could something as spindly as that conceal anything? Let me give you a pointer. There's a statement that explains that little mystery very nicely. What are you talking about? <laughs> the hat stand? That's like the comedy answer. Mm. Okay, I bet she wants to know why he's... Because they said he hanged his, like, coat up on there, but, like... His coat was his still coat? hanging... Oh, Yeah, sure. but there's a whole other person in the coat still, like... I'm so confused. So confused on how that makes any logical sense. There's no more logic to this game, I swear. I donkey said Pig's coat were hanging up in the room. So what? So that's where he hit his body, inside his own coat. <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> sure. That I, is one like, way to do it. I'm it like eh, that's a stretch. Like I mean it's still a weirdly shaped thing, that's not how coats usually look. But whatever. Sure. After you'd killed him, you put the body around his the coat around his body and hung him up onto the handstand. He turned it around so his back were pointing at the sofa, so it looked just looked like his coat hanging up. Well, I don't know what Donkey's been yapping about, but I never saw a coat in the room. There's evidence to support his statement. One of the hangers is bent, you see, as if it had some rather heavy hung from it. Some like a dead pig. Come on, why don't you just admit it, eh? You're the killer! You can't prove that. When I went into the room the second time, Donkey was already in there. So Donkey couldn't have killed him, could he? Well, could have killed him, could he? No, it still has to be you. What? Why? 
because there's something vital you had the opportunity to do that Donkey didn't have. So he just left the room, Donkey was there and still didn't like look around and then see like by turning one corner there's an entire dead guy? Yeah. Only you could have. Move the body, I'm assuming. Or, I mean, no, he could have had yeah. the murder weapon. It's true that Donkey could have killed Pig and hidden the body in his coat, eh? But the only one who had the chance to retrieve and move it onto the sofa were you. After you and Donkey left the room together, you went back to fetch something on your own. Aye, it weren't that long that you could have killed him then. But it were enough time to fetch him down off the hunger and dump him onto the sofa. But I... You thought you could give yourself a cast iron alibi by delaying the discovery of the body. But you can't pull the wool over my eyes. Just admit it. It can't have been anyone else. Instant oh. kill. Ugh, fine. You've got me. So far we've been ignoring the whole heartbreaking part. It's just been instant in the last two. Yeah. You said you'd let me out now, didn't you, eh? Congratulations, Lucy. A splendid performance. Hi, whatever. Just let me out now. Well, but first, I have a present for you. Eh? Oh. Uh-oh. Healing make... She took her dad's body and put it in a... Uh... Hey, excuse me. This is real effed up. <laughs> Too, actually a puzzle piece and keel and make peace give over the dog's actually your dad keel and make peace the jigsaw puzzle killer correct the case you solved was one of the jigsaw puzzle killings it's a very special one papa always chose victims he didn't know but in this case, he bent the rules. However fascinating you might find it, we're still talking about innocent people's lives being taken here. Poor Papa owed that fat pig so much money. Suddenly, he flipped and decided to kill him instead of paying him back. Instead of paying him back, what? But don't you think it's strange? What? You solved the case. Dang. I wasn't that hard. In other words, you would have caught my father. Me? I caught the jigsaw puzzle killer, eh? Not bad going, even if I say so myself. And at the time, they didn't manage to catch Papa. And they didn't manage to catch him after that, either. He kept on killing. Mm. Mm. Corruption. Well, obviously, whoever were assigned the case back then didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> I tell you, if me and the prof had been on this case when it came up, we would have made short work of it. Really? I wonder. Oh, I solved it now with no complaints, didn't I? That's not what I meant. Here, take a look at this. Oh, this is the actual case report, eh? Let's have a look, then. The actual case file from the murder committed by Makepeace four years early, created with great attention, detailed by DCI of Fundy Layton. Ooh. Hmm. Hey, the prof investigated it. Yes, but look more closely. Notice any evidence that's missing? Ah, you're right. 
The security camera pics of Dog coming and going when he killed Pig aren't in here. Hmm. Well, no wonder then. Without them, you can't possibly figure out who did it. I remember something my f poor drunk father said to me at the time. I can get away with anything, he said, because I've got friends in the force. Hmm. More corruption? What are you trying to say? But who? Isn't it obvious? Do not trust Alfendi Layton. That man is... He killed Papa. Hey, wait! Oh. Okay. Animation. A passageway? That's a bit unexpected. The prof must just be, be just up ahead. Don't let me down, Prof. You haven't done something you shouldn't have. Have you? New expression. Dang, it's been a while. If you pay one ninety nine for this DLC, you'll get new f exp Oh, okay. Well then. Ugh. It's an Izzy the bad dude, and that's why he's obsessed with murderers. Uh, well. Uh, well, um, uh, well. Or is it Hilda who randomly showed up in the story? <laughs> it's both! They actually were in love with each other the entire time! And that'll be our final relationship based mystery. <laughs> Bye! Alright. So. Well, I think that's the end of this, then. Yeah, this time. When we return, the thrilling conclusion. Who the heck is this dude? What's his deal? Nobody <laughs> knows. Not even us, and we've played pretty much the entire game now. <laughs> it keeps getting more confusing. The story just keeps getting more confusing. Who the heck I think is Lucy the is other gonna brother? Die. Lucy is gonna die. No way. Why well, would that be bad? Because she's the one person I care about here. Yeah, exactly. I don't who's think the well. other... Who's the other Leighton? Yeah, exactly. Where's the Leighton brother? Like brother! I, they mention him once, and it's like, oh, I'll show you my brother sometime. It's like, who are you talking about? You liars. And, uh, and of course, Alfendi is in his Tumblr sexy band pose here. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Bit suspect. <laughs> Bit sussy, isn't it? After all this time, <laughs> you're back for more. I won't stop it till they get my age. Uh, that's what we learned about I the real superpower of teamwork. <laughs> eventually, I will. I will. You will, don't you worry. I will. I tried playing the game by touching OBS. <laughs> yes. Uh, Alright. Well, we'll yep. see you next week. Next week, the finale of this game. Yeah. Professor Layton Brothers 2. New Super Professor Layton Brothers 2. <laughs>